There has been a joint cybersecurity advisory released this month that says that cyber criminals use just five techniques to gain access to your network. Surely if we know what these five techniques are, we can put something in place and minimize the risk that you'll get a cyber attack. Well, let's talk about this in today's video. But before we start, of course, just a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards. I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. We specialize in cybersecurity and IT support and offer that to all of our clients across the UK. Now, before I start talking about these five common ways that cyber attackers get into your business, what is a joint cybersecurity advisory? Well, it's when lots of different cybersecurity agencies, like the National Cybersecurity Center here in the UK, the NSA and FBI in the US, and other agencies from New Zealand, the Netherlands, and Canada. They all get together and they've issued a report. And when these agencies all get together and issue a report, it's really worth listening to. The report talks about the five main ways that cyber criminals initially get access to your business. The report then goes on to give recommendations how your business can put security in place to minimize your risk. So let's take a look at the five ways that cyber criminals initially get access to your business. The first common strategy used by cyber criminals is phishing. Now, I've talked a lot about phishing on my blog and on my YouTube channel. It's where cyber criminals send emails enticing you to click on a link or open an attachment. When you click on the link, it might ask you for a username and password for one of your cloud applications, or it might install some malware onto your computer. The second way that a cyber criminal might get access to your computer network is by using a valid username and password. Yet yeah, that's right, but obviously the cyber criminal has to get that username and password somehow. They might obtain it through a phishing attack, like I talked about in the previous step or it might be through some credential farming. But a lot of cyber criminals actually log onto your network with a valid username and password. The third most common way that cyber criminals initially gain access to your network is by exploiting remote access solutions. Maybe you use something like a VPN to connect to your work network when you're working at home. Well, cyber criminals will also connect to your work network using the same technique. But obviously, again, they'll need a username and password. So they might get that username and password through a phishing attack or some other form. The fourth most common way how cyber criminals get access to your computer network is by using something called trusted relationships. Now, I've seen this quite a lot of times. I've looked at servers in a customer office and they've got domain admin accounts on these servers. When I've asked about these, they're for a software provider. They say, oh, that software provider looks after the software. So they've got an admin account that can just log on when they want and fix the problems. Sometimes the software provider isn't even providing the software anymore. So they're just really old accounts, but they've got domain admin access to the computer network. And that is the fourth most common way how attackers exploit your systems. And the fifth and final way that cyber criminals most commonly access your network is by exploiting public facing applications. So an example of this might be a website. Your website is a public facing application. These need to be secured. So there are the most five common ways that cyber criminals get access to your network. And if you think about it, they're all kind of linked. Phishing, getting your passwords, exploiting remote access. They're all a similar kind of thing. The Cybersecurity Advisory went on to publish some recommendations, how you can tighten your cybersecurity so you're not vulnerable. So let's talk about the recommendations that have been mentioned in the advisory. The first recommendation is by implementing multi-factor authentication across your business. Now, I still see lots of businesses who don't take multi-factor authentication seriously. I recently spoke to a business and suggested putting multi-factor authentication in place. And they said, although it's on the agenda, they're just too busy at the moment. If we look at the five most common ways that cyber criminals get in your business, multi-factor authentication can combat three or perhaps four of these. So it's really, really worth it. 
The second recommendation is by implementing strong passwords. Just because you implement multi-factor authentication, it doesn't let you off the hook with strong passwords. So don't use pets' names, don't use children's names, and don't reuse your passwords. Think about getting a password manager like Keeper Security implemented across your business. The third recommendation is to control access to your business technology. Now, that sounds really simple, doesn't it? Now, controlling access to your systems is a key component of the Cyber Essentials Scheme here in the UK. You will be amazed. I talked about that example earlier about software providers, but we've been into businesses and we've looked at all the accounts on their network and on the cloud services. So many accounts for people who have left the business are still there, still exist and still enabled. This is just business technology process that needs to be implemented in your business. You should always review who has access to your network and who has admin access to your network. The fourth recommendation is to patch your systems. Now software is everywhere. We use software for everything, but software isn't perfect. So the providers of the software release fixes, security fixes for the software. And these fixes are called patches. So you've got to patch all your systems. Your IT company should handle that for you. And you should get a report with the status of all your patches. And the fifth recommendation is to tighten the security on public facing applications. Now what hackers do is they use scanning software and they will scan your network for open ports. A port is like a gateway in and if they see a gateway in, they will exploit it. So this is all about how you install certain programs, certain hardware. It has to be done by people who are skilled and have experience. So there you have it. There's the five most common ways that cyber criminals get into your business and five recommendations on how you can secure your business. Now, what I've just talked about isn't new. This isn't new and it's not rocket science. So why are so many businesses still being hit with these type of cyber attacks? Well, perhaps it's because IT departments are too busy. IT support companies are too busy and they're not implementing the right process. If you've got any questions about cybersecurity, please let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again soon.